In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to quote pressure washing jobs. I'm going to be walking you guys through a house wash, roof wash, and a driveway quote in this video. I'm also going to tell you guys how much we charge per square foot, how much you should be charging per square foot, depending upon a couple different variables. And uh, if you stick around until the end of the video, you guys are going to know everything you need to know in order to start landing a bunch more jobs. What I'm going to teach you in this video is literally a secret weapon in our company. We use this every single day, day in, day out to land jobs because we're able to send the customer an estimate so quickly after them inquiring. Customers always mention to us how much they like, how quickly we were able to respond to them and get them an estimate. And typically a customer is going to go with the first estimate that they get. So if you send them over a good price, they're probably going to go with it because they don't want to talk to a bunch of different contractors. They want to, they don't want to have to meet with a bunch of different contractors. They want to find somebody that's going to do a good job for them. They want to get a quick price and they want to go ahead and get on the schedule if they're super serious about getting the job done. Also, if you guys are looking to start a pressure washing business, but you're not sure what chemicals to use, how to mix them, how to clean every surface on a residential job site, property protection, or how to set up your equipment, check out the how to wash course. It'll be the second link in the comment section description. We're running a super special deal right now for spring. So be sure to hop on that right now uh, before that deal ends. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. For this demonstration, we will be using Quote IQ. If you guys want to check out the first link in the comment section description, you can try any tier right now of Quote IQ for $1 at myquoteiq.com. Here it is. You can also book a demo here if you guys want to schedule a demo to get a more in-depth view of the things that Quote IQ can do. So with that being said, I'm going to take you guys right into here. I want to show you one tool within here that you guys can use to kind of help determine some of this pricing because for this video, we're going to be relying solely on square foot pricing in order to determine how much we're going to be charging for these particular jobs. So if you guys come into the resource section of Quote IQ, you can then click the national averages button right here. This is then going to give you national averages for a bunch of different services within pressure washing and ranges for each one of those services to help you guys better pick uh, what kind of rate you want to go with. Now, like I said, as we're going through this, I'm going to share with you guys exactly the rate that we're using to quote these jobs. However, the rate really depends upon how much lead flow you have coming in, how experienced you are, um, where you're located, how many people are around you. So if you live in a super populated area, you could probably charge a little bit more. If you have a ton of lead flow coming in, you could probably charge a little bit more. If you don't really have that much lead flow, if you don't really live in that populated bin area, you probably need to charge a little bit less. One of the best tools within Quote IQ is the close ratio. Depending upon the close ratio, this can kind of help you determine uh, how you're pricing. So if you guys are closing too high, like this close ratio right here, if your month to date was 100% or if your year to date was 80%, that's way too high. You're not charging enough money. You really want this to sit somewhere around 50 to 60%, maybe 70% because you know that you're landing most jobs, but you're not landing every single job. If our close ratio is too high, we're pricing too low. If our close ratio is too low, we're pricing too high. Now, if our lead flow is just crazy and we have so many jobs coming in, then we can afford to lose more of those. So keeping an eye on your close ratio will kind of give you an idea of where your pricing is and how you need to adjust it. With that being said, let's go ahead and create an estimate in here so we can get into how to quote house washes, roof washes, and driveway cleanings. To do this, I'm going to go to the estimate screen right here. I'm going to click uh, create an estimate. We're then going to select the customer. For this estimate, we're going to be using Bill Johnson here. We've selected our customer, and then we're going to click save and continue, and then we're going to be able to create our estimate. Now, within Quote IQ, uh, you can have all of your list of services here, which we could sort from, but we also built in a sorting tool where we can uh, build it out based on the services we provide because we offer a bunch of different services, Christmas lighting, pressure washing, solar cleaning. So I'll click pressure washing, and we'll jump right in. So I'm going to save house wash for the end because house wash is probably – the most complicated. So we're going to start with the easiest one. First and foremost, we're going to start with concrete cleaning. Now, if you guys use Quote IQ, this is one of the beautiful parts about it. We have an integrated map measuring tool. All you got to do is click this map button right here. It's then going to take us to the property. We can then zoom in on the property and uh, we're going to be able to take our measurements that way. Another beautiful thing that Quote IQ has is the street view. So you guys can click the street view here and it's going to give us uh, an idea of what the property looks like. And so we can go ahead and look over here. This is exactly what the property looks like. Okay, looks great. This is good for a couple different things. We can tell how many stories it is. We know it's a two-story house. We can kind of get a lay of the land, if you will, um, more so than if you know we were just looking through uh, that map view. So street view is incredibly important to kind of give you a lay of the land, kind of allow you to see the neighborhood as well. Now let's kind of bounce back in here and let's go ahead and take our measurements. Now we recently updated the map within Quote IQ and we made it a lot easier to go ahead and measure property. So now you can just place your points like this. We're just going to go ahead and measure out this driveway real quick. And then the beautiful thing is, is we've already set up this service so that we have our pricing um, set up within Quote IQ. So Quote IQ is going to tell us how much square footage we're measuring and then um, it's going to multiply it out and give us a price for that square footage. Now, this was a real quote. We'd obviously include in uh, this path up to the front door. We'd also include the sidewalk here, but for brevity, 
I want to keep this video brief. I don't want to uh, over explain. We're just going to measure out the driveway. As you guys can see, we've covered all the points of the driveway. It's then going to give us our area and perimeter. I'm going to click save to estimate and quote IQ is going to do the math for us. So a little bit over 1300 square feet. It's then going to multiply that out times our square foot price. Now, Pricing with regards to concrete cleaning, um, I would say anywhere between 13 to 15 cents is probably good for my area. If you're doing commercial work where there's like a ton of concrete, you'd actually go a little bit below that. Uh, but for this driveway, 171 bucks is pretty good. We might want to get it even closer to 200 so we could switch this around. We could probably be closer to 15 cents, 198. That sounds pretty good. We'll say 14 just for now. So we got our square footage price. We have our square foot and uh, that's pretty much our pricing for our concrete driveway. Pretty straightforward, right? I mean, we did that within just a couple of seconds. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the roof. The roof is also one of those things that's very straightforward with regards to how you're going to measure it and how you're going to price it. So we're going to go ahead and scroll in here, and then we're going to go ahead and take some quick measurements of the roof. So that way we can go ahead and put a price together for that as well. Boom. All right, so now we got our roof measured as well. We're going to go ahead and click Save to Estimate. For our roof uh, wash price, we typically stay between about... 20 and 25 cents. I would say anywhere between 18 and 25 is probably about right. Uh, this is a decent sized roof. So 713 sounds like a pretty good price for us. Um, with the driveway as well, 185, that works as well. Now let's go ahead and get into our house wash price. Now house wash pricing is a little bit more difficult. I would say it's just not as straightforward as measuring out the square footage. So as you guys saw before, we did the roof wash measurement that came out to 3,400 square feet. We could just go ahead and plug this price in, say 3,400 square feet. We'll charge a little bit less of a rate on our square footage than what we do for the roof because uh, house washing is a little bit easier, uh, less chemical, things of that nature. We don't have to get on top of the house in order to clean it. A little bit more straightforward, right? We could charge less for house washing than we can for roof washing. The only problem is, is we're not taking into consideration how tall the house is, um, and it's not as accurate of a way to go as uh, another method that I'm about to share with you guys. So. You can use this method, use a square foot measurement, but you really want to lay eyes on the property. So we're going to go ahead and hop back in here. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the street view of the property, and we're going to see about how tall it is. So when you're quoting a house wash price, you really don't want to use a square footage as much, although we do it all the time. You really want to uh, find out what the perimeter of the house is because if you take the perimeter of this house and you multiply it times how tall uh, the walls are of the house, then you're going to get all the surface area that you need to clean. And you multiply all the surface area that you need to clean times whatever your price is. Could be 12 cents, 15 cents, 17 cents, whatever works for you and whatever makes sense for your company with regards to that close ratio that we were talking about earlier. So essentially two schools of thought here with regards to pricing houses, obviously lay eyes on it with the street view. Um, but you could do a square foot measurement, not as accurate as if you were to measure the perimeter and then multiply the perimeter times the height of the walls and then um, multiply that times whatever you charge uh, for that surface area. So a couple of different ways you can go about um, pricing out your house washes. I'm going to go ahead and click next here. A couple of things that I would include with this estimate is, is like on the concrete cleaning, since we're not laying eyes on the concrete, we're not really putting an eye on any stains that are on the concrete. So an important thing to kind of mention with regards to your concrete cleaning is uh, this doesn't include the treatment of any stains and so it's another important question to ask you know do you have any oil stains do you guys have any rust stains that you want to get out because those will not be treated with our standard uh, concrete cleaning procedures so it's important to include that within the estimate because you don't want them to accept the estimate and be like hey you didn't get that oil stain up because it wasn't included within the estimate so beautiful thing within quote iq we can attach terms and conditions to every estimate so you guys can attach any one that you want. We actually have a pressure washing contract that we are going to attach to this. And then we're going to go ahead and click, click proceed. It's going to give us uh, what the estimate is going to look like. As you guys see, house wash 646, roof wash 713, and uh, concrete cleaning 185. We'd probably come down a little bit on the house wash, probably be a little bit closer to 500 uh, on it, just so that way maybe they would swing the whole package. Another beautiful thing about Quote IQ is we can give them an options estimate. So that way we can quote them on everything and then they have the option to accept uh, or decline uh, whatever it is that they want to accept and decline. So they could pick out the house wash, they could pick out the concrete cleaning. With a conventional with a conventional estimate, it's more so like they're either going for the entire package or they're going for none of it. With an options estimate, um, it's it's nice because they can pick and choose which ones they want. So I'm going to load up the options estimate for you guys so you can see that, and then we'll take a look at that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this options estimate. I'm going to copy the link here. We're going to hop in, and this is what the customer is going to be able to see on their end. They're going to see this is their estimate. These are their items, and uh, estimate total is not 
determine until they select which ones they want. So they might say, okay, we want to do the house. We want to do the concrete cleaning, but we don't want to do the roof right now. So that's the beautiful thing about quoting through Quote IQ. If you guys have any other questions with regards to how to price uh, pressure washing jobs, please leave those down in the comment section. Uh, maybe I can make another video kind of addressing some of those, but it's really super simple. And this is exactly how we quote, literally as fast as you can measure the property and multiply it times whatever your rate is, that's how quickly you can get a price out to the customer. Some people say, well, what if I miss something or what if I didn't upsell something or what if it's worse than what I thought it was going to be? All you have to do is just account for that by adding a little bit to your price. The time that you're going to save driving out to all these customers' house, driving out to their house, driving back to the house, and then wasting the time corresponding with them, you're going to make up for in quoting quickly. And um, you're going to have some jobs where you make out better than on others. But I mean, that's pretty much the business. You do that either way, even if you went look at every property. Sometimes you have situations where uh, it's more difficult to do than what you accounted for and, and so on. So if you guys made this far in the video, comment down below, quote, I'll hashtag you a real one. Check out quote IQ, first link in the comment section description. But until next time, hustle hard, get that money, baby. Peace.